Right, so I thought I'd make a video on how to uh, remove valve guides. This is a BMW M47 engine, M for mother. It worked the same on the N47. Right, so what I've done is, is a couple I've done earlier, is I've tapped them. Um, before you tap them, you've got to drill them out with a 6.8 millimeter drill bit. Don't do 6.5, don't do 7, it's got to be 6.8. Because if you do 6.5, then your tap's going to have a hard time, um, you know, cutting the threads. And you might snap it, so you don't want to do that. Um, I was knocking these out, I did knock one of them out, this first one from the other side knocked it through but I really didn't like that because it was rather sketchy and I had to use quite a big hammer to uh, get them to move so uh, the next thing was to tap them. Now the closest tap is M7 but M7 stuff is hard to get. You can't just find that locally easily. It goes 6 and 8 you know. And um, I didn't tap it until I took one out because what I did is I took one out then I tapped it in the vise and then uh, seeing if there was plenty of meat on there you know to make sure that uh, there's going to be plenty of meat so it's not just going to pull, rip the threads out basically. Um, so you want to drill in about 20 millimeters. So about where my thumb is there. You want to drill that far and the reason for that is most taps are like this. Because they got um, tape on the end. But if you haven't got this type and you've got like the end which um, you know for blind holes for holes like that then you you can just drill it a bit less you only need 10 mil worth of threads put it that way and then you need a plate of some kind and you need to make sure it's supported on at least three sides because you don't want to be damaged in the aluminium um, I would suggest using a spanner and what I've got here is an 8 mil plate I wouldn't recommend anything thinner because it, it might bend uh, thicker is better the threaded rod is 80 mil long and um, put a wash on there just to kind of support it a bit um, definitely use a spanner because you can see if this is turning or not it shouldn't really turn much it might turn a little bit but um, you know but I'll demonstrate what you are going to hear with a ratchet because it's easier for me to do it with the ratchet just for this purpose now listen let me just get... see that tinking See if I do it again. You just keep going. And as you keep going, it'll make that tink noise. And it'll keep making that noise. If it's making that noise, that's a good sign because it means it's coming out. It's like uh, when you get a wheel nut and uh, you're undoing them and they're cracking dry. It's the same sound basically. So yeah, this is how you want to remove them. This is going to be the easiest way and the safer way. Because if you're on the other side and you accidentally hit your hammer on that head, that head's no good. Even if you don't see a crack, there might be a hairline crack there. And it's just not worth hammering the hell out of it. If you're not confident enough in doing this sort of thing, get a machine shop to do it. I mean, I'm going to take these out, but um, as for putting them back in, I'm going to get the machine shop to do that because I'm not confident on the 
getting them in because they say heat up the head, freeze the um, valve guides and then put them in. Another thing worth noting is the there's a lip inside the head so these go up to the lip. See how they're tapered on the end? So they go up to the lip and um, they bottom out basically. So if you are installing them yourself then um, they will bottom out when they're in properly but I wouldn't recommend it. 